So an Acadiana broadcaster is retiring after more than 40 years in the business. Debbie Ray of the CJ and Debbie Ray Morning Show on 99.9 KTDY signed off this morning. Debbie is calling this her semi-retirement. <laughs> Chris Welty was there for the send-off and finds out what she has planned next. Good morning to you. Start your day off bright and shiny. Get up off your little hiding and begin your happy day. CJ and Debbie Ray in the morning. Whether getting ready for school or work, CJ and Debbie Ray have been a part of many of our mornings for 22 years. It's been a wild ride. <laughs> I've learned a lot, met some wonderful people, had some amazing adventures, and it would not have been possible without the people who listened. I never thought it would last that long, but I also never thought it would end. So it's just been... It's been a very, very good ride. Scotty Tibbs and Linda oh Southerd, Kat Randazzo, Friday morning, the tributes pouring in, thanking Debbie Ray for her commitment to Acadiana during her more than 40-year career. As a young broadcaster, she worked at various stations in Acadiana, but decided to take a break. My husband and I had a photography business for a few years, which was wonderful, but uh, I missed radio, so I came back. That decision leading to the longest running morning radio show in Acadiana. I'm kind of looking forward to not hearing me. <laughs> Debbie Ray is such a classy lady. She has a big heart and uh, I'll always love her. Going into retirement, Debbie Ray says she's looking forward to traveling, spending time with her husband and catching up on something precious to us all. I plan to sleep for a month and catch up. It might take six months, but I do plan to sleep to catch on, up on all the sleep I've lost over so many years of waking up at 3.30 in the morning. And that's pretty much as far as the plan goes right now. For CJ and Debbie Ray, they say the chemistry they had is something you can't fake. Their passion for the job and each other evident on air. It has been an honor and a privilege to sit across from you. And thank you to everyone who has put up with us <laughs> for all these years. Because without people who listen to the show, we would not have had the opportunity to do what we do. And as you always say, to have milk in the refrigerator. So thank you to everyone who has ever listened to us. In Lafayette, Chris Walty, KTC TV3.